Hi, my name is Jessica Schaefer, and I'm a Senior Director of Marketing and Communications for LaSalle Network, which is a local Chicago-based staffing and recruiting firm that helps people find jobs. I lead a team of 10 people, and I've been working for LaSalle for almost a decade, almost 10 years. This job was my first job right out of school. I started as an entry-level marketing and PR coordinator, and almost 10 years later have worked my way up. The company's grown a lot in my tenure. So when I started, we only had about 30, 45 people, and today we're approaching 250 people. When I started, I was the marketing team, and today I've got a team of 10 people. So it's been a wild and crazy ride, and I'm excited to share a little bit of my insights and, and advice with you all today. So one of the questions that I was asked to answer was, what does your day-to-day -day look like? And for me, one of the reasons that I love my job is because each and every day is different. I love that I come to work and my best laid plans could get completely scrapped because we have a big, a big um, order, a big project that comes in that I need to pivot and be able to move quickly to. So I'll talk maybe a little bit more about holistically the things that I do because each day truly is different. So every day my team starts off the day with a stand up. We meet, we literally stand up, we get out of our seats and we talk about our priorities for the day. It gives me an opportunity to have insight into what's everybody working on and do we need to pivot people to work on different projects to make sure that we have coverage. If we're in the throes of, I call it event season, where we're hosting events for our clients or for our staff, I may be planning a big event. So I might be working on coordinating with vendors. I might be thinking about what are fun and creative ideas to do as surprises throughout the event. I might be thinking about how do I track RSVPs? I might be designing invitations or save the dates. So there's a lot that goes into event management and my whole team focuses on major events. If I was planning a big piece of content, maybe I was working through our content calendar. So I might be reviewing a white paper that we're gonna promote to hopefully help drive some leads and drive revenue. I might be meeting with my team to talk about the strategy of how are we gonna promote that piece of content? Because it's not enough just to put out a piece of content into the world and hope that people download. You have to have a strategy. Um, if it's the end of the year, I'm typically evaluating what's been working. I'm looking at our marketing plan and thinking strategically about our goals for the year ahead and how my team can fit into that, that plan and how we can help drive revenue. Because that's one of the biggest things that I continue to focus on is I want to make sure that marketing isn't seen as a line item. It's not seen as a cost to the company, it's seen as a value add to the company. And so I'm constantly thinking about what are ways that we can add value and how can we drive revenue for the organization. Another question I was asked to answer is, what are the skills that are necessary for your role? And so there's hard skills and soft skills. There's things that are um, innate and a little bit intangible. And then there's also things that you learn in school or you can learn by doing and really build up those hard skills. So from a soft skill perspective, for me, curiosity is a huge part of my role. I need to be curious about our consumers, our clients, our customers, our candidates. I need to make sure that I can understand their perspective and that I'm asking questions that um, might be intriguing to them. So I'm producing the right content or the right, the right materials for them. I need to have strong communication skills because I talk every day, all day. I talk up to our senior leadership team. I talk to my peer level. I talk to my staff. I talk to the teams within our company. So I have to have really strong verbal and written communication skills. But that also translates into my day-to-day -day job. I need to have strong writing skills. I need to have strong analytical skills. I need to have strong research skills to make sure that all of the information that I'm putting together makes sense, doesn't have typos, if I'm presenting it to a client, it sure as heck better not have typos. We need to be able to, to take our brand into account and put our best foot forward. And then the last question I was asked to answer is, what advice do you have for someone trying to get into marketing or trying to get into your role? And for me, 
I think a lot about my career path and I graduated with a degree in English writing and Spanish. So not exactly marketing or business or communications or public affairs. I went a non-traditional route and I went to a liberal arts, a liberal arts college. And so for me, there's a couple pieces of advice that I've learned throughout my time, which is definitely have a plan and um, remember that it's okay to, to veer off of that plan. I never thought I would get into marketing, but when I graduated from college, I was thinking about how can I use the skills that I've honed in college and make sure that I'm stepping into a career that I really like, but also that I can use what I'm, what I'm good at. And so be open to your career paths. You might not have thought you'd get into a different industry or a different type of role, but really in your first job out of college, having a generalist role or having something that allows you to wear a lot of hats or become a jack of all trades is really important. It helped me kind of figure out what do I like and what don't I like. I started at a small company. We're now a mid-sized organization, but I liked that feeling of knowing everyone. I liked knowing the impact I was making on the bottom line. The other thing, the other piece of advice that I'll share is just to work your butt off. And I know that seems like obvious and common sense, but I started at an organization and still work for a company where everyone brings their A game every single day. And everyone's working hard and everyone's grinding it out. And I thought I had a strong work ethic before I came to LaSalle Network. I played basketball in college. I wrote for the school newspaper. I was the editor of the newspaper my senior year. I was in a sorority. I managed and balanced a lot of different things. I graduated magna cum laude. I thought I knew what hard work meant. But when you graduate and you step into the professional world, it takes a little bit more. And so for me, I wanted to be the best. So I went to the bookstores and I bought books about marketing and social media and content marketing and, and proposals and RFPs and all of these things so I could learn because I didn't have a degree in marketing. And even if you do step into your profession with an educational background, remember that you don't know everything and you're only gonna be better by the more knowledge that you accumulate. So that means going and seeking out classes, talking to people who are experts in the field, going to networking events, make sure you remember to push yourself because if you think that the hard work has finished once you graduate from college, it's only just begun. Thanks for taking a little time to listen with me and let me share some insights and have a great day.